Okay, today we are testing a game plan solenoid driver board. And specifically, uh, we're looking at these two control relays that are on the board. Uh, now, all game plan boards have at least one relay on them, which usually is in this socket here. Um, the cocktails that had the chuckalock had a second relay installed here. Um, so any any machine that has the chuckalock device has two relays. Additionally, um, the um, the chuckalock was repurposed into supernova for the space catcher or something like that. I forget what it was. Um, and so the supernova has a second relay and um, and then Cyclops also uses the uh, second relay as well uh, so those are the only ones that actually use the second relay now the first relay on the board is actually controlled by um, Q what is it Q 19 um, and the set and so this one is controlled by Q19 which is uh, this uh, transistor on the board over here uh, and the second relay is actually controlled by Q9 game plan did something really funky in that these two um, transistors are controlled directly by the PIA on the CPU board um, the only thing that stands between these transistors and the 8255 on the CPU board are two um, uh, 1004 diodes and these two uh, uh, 4.7k ohm resistors that are here. So from these um, two transistors it goes through those and then out this connector across to the CPU board and straight to the 8255. Not the smartest uh, design in the world. Um, anyway, um, the reason why we're looking at this is because the chuck lock in this uh, black velvet isn't working. So we wanted to verify that uh, this uh, relay is being triggered, can be triggered properly on the board, and that the problem is on this board. Now, this board suffers from bad pins, like all game plan machines do, and these pins are all going to be replaced. Um, but uh, just for reliability purposes, but I suspect that the problem is elsewhere in the machine uh, and not on this board. So, um, to test this, you need two voltages. You need 24 volts, which is what this relay is here, these two relays, they're 24 volt relays. Um, and then you also need 5 volts in order to switch the Darlington that's on the board to um, fire the relay. And so to do that, I have a 24 volt power supply and I have a 5 volt power supply. The 24 volts goes into pin, the positive goes into pin 13 on J3, and the negative goes into pin 4 on J3. And then for the 5 volts, uh, I've hooked the negative up to pin 5 on JP. And then we use the positive 5 volt lead to um, switch the Darlington, which would then trigger the relay on and off. So, uh, since I have the voltages all set up and it's all set, um, I'm going to use this now. I have plus 5 volts on this. Uh, pin J, J4 pin 1 is the input pin for um, uh, for Q9 that's on this board and uh, if I touch Q9 um, this relay should click on uh, if I touch pin 1 on J4 uh, this uh, relay 2 should click and Sure enough, there it goes, it's clicking, so it's engaging. So if this gets triggered properly from the CPU board, this would this would turn on 
and if uh, all the connections are good, the chuckle luck should spin. Um, pin two on J4 uh, is for the flippers, and this was actually working in the machine. So if I if I click uh, if I touch pin two, this relay should click, and so there is pin one, and there is pin two. So I know now that. Um, these two relays are working. Another thing you can do if you have two relays in a machine like this is you can actually swap these relays they're identical. So if you have one relay that's working and one relay that isn't if you swap them and the one that wasn't working starts working and the one that wasn't does um, then you know the problem isn't the relays then you know the problem is elsewhere. Um, so to confirm uh, all of this um, I'm going to uh, energize this relay and when this relay is energized uh, I should have continuity between between J3 pin 12 and J1 pin 21 and so I have my meter here and I have it in continuity test so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if I have continuity between between J3 pin 12 and J1 pin 21 and I do not so now if I clip Five volts to J4 pin 1 the relay is energized and if I go between J3 pin 12 and J1 pin 21 I have continuity and if I remove this and de-energize the relay I now don't have continuity so we've proven that the problem isn't on this board um, and that uh, the connection through the board and the relay and the, if the relay is getting triggered correctly then um, <coughs> excuse me then the problem is uh, elsewhere thanks for watching